welcome to another video folks and um, this week we've been busy again but uh, I think uh, we're there with the greenhouse so that's pretty cool um, there's still a lot of small things to do um, that's just re related to the systems itself but as a structure um, we believe that we are there um, so uh, with any further ado I'm sure you guys are keen to have a look let's go so, how do, do we do things in Sweden? Well, first we skate to the car and then we skate to the trailer. How's this going? I'm also trying not to slip as I stand here. <laughs> Michael Jackson has nothing on me. <laughs> <laughs> Moonwalking. We, we can literally walk on water. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see how well this this goes. I'm curious to see how he's going to attach the trailer to the car now on the ice. Yes, because someone has to pull. I see you slipping further and further back. It goes a lot quicker if you just waiting for it. I am so just waiting for it. I'm I'm rolling. <laughs> Hold on to the car and pull yourself forward. <laughs> I did it. Uh huh. You're not off the ice yet. I'm coming. You fall on your ass when you least expect it. <laughs> When you think you've got shit in order, that's when you fall. <laughs> so this is us getting preparing to go to Ota Vinning. Um, for those who don't know what Ota Vinning is, it's the um, basically the dump. Every movement is deadly. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. <laughs> it's fighting me. Okay. <laughs> Shall we skid back to the car and leave, dear? Hey guys! So today we are on our way to a different part of Sheleftio. <laughs> we are on our way to drop some samples off that were actually requested by us um, for the microgreens. It's been going really well. Eh? Very, well. <laughs> Very well. So we were obviously stressing, I mean, new country, you know, new culture, different restaurants. You know, we were really were just hoping for the best and um, it's really been great and dealing with um, the restaurants here has been an absolute delight I have to admit it really has been great and the people are just so welcoming and so happy to have it um, so yeah like local produce is really 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 appreciated here and I really appreciate that so yeah we are enjoying our little journey and the quality the quality of the products yes that's the thing yep. that's the thing when we show the restaurants these beautiful greens of the produce that we create uh, they just haven't seen quality like this so <laughs> i'm proud of us yeah for sure you know we worked hard uh, to get here and um it's really nice that it's being so well received and um yeah so we're just enjoying our little trip here today and you have done it.
So the snow is busy melting. And uh, that means that it's very, very wet. Um, but the new corrugated roof that we put up holding together very nicely. I was so happy we did that. <laughs> anyway, let's go have a look. Take my shoes off. And as you can see, Daniela has some dedicated shoes for in here. Uh, pardon the mess folks, yesterday was harvest day so it's a little bit, uh, you know, hectic. We only got back late last night so we still need to clean up. Um, obviously still busy with a few things but enough excuses, let's have a look. So we're here at the entrance hall and at the entrance hall we've repainted, we've replaced the missing panels over there. Um, as you can see, flooring, flooring is complete. This is the microgreens room that you all know and love. Um, we're still busy here. We've added some more shelving on this side. And back over here, as you can see, this is the packing and wrapping room. This is also a room that you've seen many, many times. So we won't get too much into that. And the refrigerator room, which we've shown you before. But just look, we have floors running across. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Look at this hallway. Kick ass. Very good. To our right, we've made a slight change to the plan. This is becoming a second microgreen room, including a young plant nursery. So that is the plan. Uh, we've ordered more lights for there, more shelving for there, more of everything. Over there we've got our lovely Bug Zapper 10,000 and uh, this is what is said to be the fruiting room for our mushrooms. Moving across, yeah, this is grow room number one. Grow room number one came out very nice as well. Looking really smart with all the flooring done. Nice and clean, nice and tidy. Um, there's still some tape we need to fix up. Small things, small things. Over here, grow room number two, lots of activity. We have lots of couplers, things happening. We have a good hydroponic stand set up and we're happy with the spacing. So this will accommodate approximately five to 600 plants and uh, we're happy with that. So we've been getting quite a bit of comments about, about this stuff, the mylar. And people are asking, why, why did you put, why, why the mylar, why does it do? And um, the main reason for us is, well actually there's quite a few, but the main reason is uh, we want light to reflect as efficiently as possible. When you look at the microgreens room where there's 60 lights, you think that's a lot, but we can get even more efficiency out of the walls by reflecting more light from it. So um, that's one of it, is to reflect light. Um, some people use it for light tightness, you know, so if you have an area where no light is supposed to come in, you can use that because it's a light tight mylar. Um, and then lastly, it's completely waterproof and strong and durable. So if there's any wetness or damp or something against these walls, we can very easily clean it. Um, we've on purpose made these panels so that they're able to be replaced and taken off in the event that uh, we need to do anything behind them. So that's the Mylar thing. So all in all, the place has come together pretty good. Um, we're as proud as can be. We worked really hard on it. That's it for this week's video folks. Thank you for joining in. Thanks so much for being on this journey with us. It really means a lot. Love reading the comments. Keep them coming. Um, we'll catch you again really soon. Bye.